Hey everybody, it's Michael Padone with salesbuzz.com and I just received a cold email and I actually want to share, if you're going to be sending cold emails, this is exactly how not to send a cold email. What I did is I copy and paste it and I put it on LinkedIn as well so you can see it there. But let me break this down for you. The first thing it says is, hi, no name or anything, just says hi, hope you're doing well, haven't heard back from you, just wondering if you're interested in our services. Now, I have no idea who they are. They obviously have no idea who I am. They didn't even put my name in the email, right? Now, obviously, this is an email, a cold email. It's just going to get deleted and moved on. Their first email probably went to spam anyway, right? So what could, have, what could they have done differently that would have gotten a much better conversion rate? And that's really what we're after. When you're selling by phone and, and, and you're doing inside sales, and whether it's an outreach or, or whether it's cold email or a phone call, you want better conversion rates, right? So how could this gotten a better conversion rate? Here's how. What this is what would have worked instead is if first of all, let me do the email. Uh, if they would have emailed me and said, Hi, Michael, this is so and so XYZ. The reason for my emails we recently helped competitor X generate and then put a number in there while reducing their monthly ad spend by blank percent. There's a possibility we might be able to help you do the same, but I need to ask you a few questions first to be sure. Uh, to avoid playing phone tag, would it be okay to just schedule a link uh, call with me here? And you have a link to the email, right? That that would have been a much better email. It's going to convert a lot better. What's going to be even better is if they call up their prospect, right? And they say, hey, Michael, it's 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 Michael Padone with XYZ Company. Listen, the reason for my call, we recently helped, now name a competitor of mine, uh, generate, now give a number of what the the result was of your service, while reducing their monthly ad spend by and then give a percentage this if you're selling seo or pay-per-click services like this person is here those are the two big metrics that your your potential new clients are going to be most interested in so why not hit that right up front right you mentioned a competitor you mentioned what you've done for them and you what you save them and then in, in the in the phone call, you just say, and there's a possibility we might be able to help do the same for you. I, I just need to ask you a few questions first to be sure. Would that be okay? Now, if you're contacting the right person, you did your, you know, you have your right ICP or ideal customer profile, who's going to say no to that? Now, the real question is, once they go, yeah, sure, I got a second, do you know what to say next? 